Hello, I'm Nicola J. Rowley, and this is my book, James and the Amazing Gift. Once, there was a boy called James. From the moment he was born, it was clear that there was something special about him. He just loved to smile. More than that, he had an incredible ability to make everyone he met smile too. He was just incredibly happy about everything and with everyone. James would smile from the moment he woke in the morning until the time he went to bed. He would then dream happy dreams about all the things he'd done that day. If you were to watch him sleep, you would even see him smile to himself too. As he grew up, James particularly enjoyed being able to pass on his happiness to others. If he saw a little boy or girl upset, he would reach out to them and hold their hand. In no time at all, they would end up smiling too. Such was his gift for making other people around him happy. One of James's favourite things to do was to watch people go about their days. He would look at them until they saw him and then smile the biggest smile he could. On his first ever train journey into London, he did just that. He looked at all of the commuters one by one until they smiled too. By the end of their journey, everyone on the carriage was smiling and some even started talking to each other. Once, James went to a garden centre with his mummy. They looked at all of the beautiful plants and flowers that they could buy for their garden. James loved being outside. He enjoyed all of the different colours and smells, but especially the flowers and the trees. It made him incredibly happy. Soon, it was time for lunch. James loved his food almost as much as he loved to smile at everyone. After James and his mummy had eaten, James did as he always did. He caught people's attention by looking at them and smiling. One elderly lady was sat in the corner by herself. She was wearing a purple hat that was pulled down over her eyes. She didn't make eye contact with anyone. James did his best to get her attention, but it was no good. The lady just didn't see him, or rather, she didn't want to. For one of the first times in his life, James felt sad. Why was she sat there alone when everyone else was chatting away to each other? James looked at his mummy and frowned. He thought the old lady looked so sad, sat in the corner, huddled over her cup of tea by herself. Then the lady put on her coat and started to shuffle out of the restaurant towards the door. James's mummy said to the lady, excuse me, but I think you have a bit of a fan, and nodded in James's direction. James gave the lady the biggest, toothiest grin he could. More than anything, he just wanted to make her happy. The lady stopped in her tracks and just stared at him. It was as if she couldn't believe what she was seeing. Then she took a few more steps out of the restaurant, stopped, turned to James and said, thank you. Then slowly but surely, a small smile spread from the corners of her mouth across her entire face. Thank you, I don't feel so alone anymore. That night, James went to sleep and dreamt happy thoughts. But most of all, he dreamt that the elderly lady in the purple hat was still smiling. And you know what? It meant that James smiled his way through the night too. The end.